It is a welterweight matchup between Donald Cerrone and Yancey Medeiros. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. Well, since making his UFC debut in 2011, there has been no more reliable fighter on the roster than the always active Donald Cowboy Cerrone. When he retires, in all likelihood, he'll be the UFC's leader and wins. It's one thing to make the walk. It's another thing to continue to win fights the way Cerrone has done. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, no surprise, back at it again tonight. Cerrone is very dangerous on the feet or on the ground. Solid Muay Thai, great submissions, and he's a very hard worker. He's been taken to the limit several times in championship bouts, and there is no quit in this guy. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five in the UFC walk away division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 15 wins, 4 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Yatsi Madeiros! And now it's going to see opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 10 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And he landed the right hand there. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Blocks the shot. Nice inside leg kick by Donald. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at that nasty jab. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh! Right on the button. Now mixing one into the body. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. 
Switching stances here. Good punch. Lost the shot here, Joe. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Medeiros. And both guys really throwing with authority. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Well, whatever works, now he switches his stance again. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Yancey Medeiros. Using his jab effectively here, it's an underutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, not this guy. That one hurt. Trying to double up on that jab. Whoa! He's got him right here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Look to the head there by Medeiros. He hurt him with that hook. Vicious punch combinations here. How about that chin? He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Oh, nice work with the knees for the body here. At the oh! oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible striking on display in that round. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys... Oh! He's in big, big trouble. Body kick, look at that. How about that shoot? here on the ground, staying busy. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Cowboy Cerrone. Punches one. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Medeiros gets in the clinch yet again. Here by Medeiros. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. He is in trouble. This fight is over. Oh. He is oh. Oh. oh, he got hurt. Oh, he's out. Gigantic hook that got on the win. 
Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Here it is one more time. Ba-boom! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Donald Cowboy Well, this guy just might retire as the UFC's all-time wins leader. Tonight was certainly a step in that direction. Donald Cowboy Cerrone gets it done yet again. Another big spot, and you can argue this was one of the best performances of his career.